Last week, the high-speed world of NASCAR shuddered on its axis following a devastating crash involving star drivers Chase Elliott and Denny Hamlin at the infamous Charlotte Motor Speedway. As echoes of the crash still hung in the air and the fans grappled with the aftermath, the collision alarm sounded again, involving two of the Truck Series competitive drivers. Among the tangled wreckage was Haley Deegan of Thor Sports, whose season so far could be likened to a string of unfortunate events, a testament to an unyielding sequence of misfortune. But before anything else, please like and subscribe. We're very close to reaching a thousand subs, and it's all thanks to you. Deegan, the driver behind the number 13 Ford, has already been under scrutiny for her controversial conduct and repeated incidents of collision with her colleagues on the track. Despite the critique, her season took a nosedive, transforming the once energized raceway into a scene of despair. The rookie driver involved in the accident subsequently stepped up, accepting blame for the chaotic scenario that unfolded on the track. This unfortunate incident at the Toyota 200 marked the third race in the ongoing Craftsman Truck Series where the rising talent from Thor Sports was forced to retire prematurely due to an accident. The calamity that unfolded between Deegan and newcomer driver Nick Sanchez sent shockwaves through the NASCAR community, closely mirroring the fateful event of the previous week. The saga played out on lap 87 in turn 3, where Sanchez's rev racing vehicle ended up clipping Deegan's tailgate, setting in motion a chain of events that led her to crashing into the outer wall. Deegan's truck bore the brunt of the collision, sustaining heavy damage, and the young driver could barely limp back to her garage. The rookie in question, Nick Sanchez, accepted his wrongdoing and expressed regret towards Deegan. During a post-race interview with Fox's season analyst Bob Pockrass, Sanchez admitted to his guilt. He revealed, for us, it's not where I want to run, kind of disappointed with today. Feel like speed was there, just restarts the skies up. Gotta get better at it, I guess, yeah, speed is there. I just have to pick up and choose my battles on restarts and focus on not losing so much. In response to Pockrass's question regarding Deegan's obvious disappointment, Sanchez owned up to the incident saying, Yeah, I mean it's unfortunate. It's terrible to tear up a truck and especially her, but just racing hard trying to get momentum. Push her back bumper off two and three, trying to get clear of the two in my inside and just racing so close, hit her. There are no two ways around it. Unfortunately, it happened. My apologies. Sanchez's apology sparked an outcry from the fans who felt it lacked sincerity. Given the recent turmoil in NASCAR, mere apologies do not appear to be sufficient for causing havoc on the track. As a result, fans are clamoring for disciplinary measures against Sanchez. The distress for Deegan was echoed by veteran spotter Brett Griffin, who used his Twitter platform to express his thoughts. His tweet read, Glad at Haley Deegan is okay. Darn it, I want to see her catch a break and get into the Xfinity series. Griffin's sentiment resonated with many fans who share his hope of seeing Deegan's career flourish. The stage for expressing disappointment was set in the real world and the virtual realm, as fans stormed the comments section with their disapproval of Sanchez's apology. The lament of one fan stood out, the sarcastic edge to their words ringing loud and clear as they remarked, what an apology. Not just fans, even iRacing, a widely acclaimed racing simulation platform joined the chorus, commenting rather tersely, well, that was rude. Sanchez's apology seemingly void of genuine regret rubbed many the wrong way painting him as a villain in the eyes of those who felt he had treated Haley Deegan unfairly. The churning waters of controversy began to draw parallels between Sanchez and the seasoned Denny Hamlin, the former being likened to the latter in terms of their driving styles and tendencies to incite controversy. Another fan chimed in with their viewpoint, observing, It seems to me when a driver gets punted like Haley did today that the punter should at least have been sent to the back of the pack. Not a heck of a lot of difference in the Elliott Hamlin in my eyes. After a rigorous check at the infield care center, Deegan emerged physically unscathed and was given the all-clear to resume racing. Nonetheless, the accident didn't leave her and her Thor Sport team entirely unscathed, as it had ramifications in the point standings, where they found themselves slipping to 17th position. On the other side of the coin, Nick Sanchez, who crossed the finish line in 8th spot, saw his standing ascend to the 12th position. The dust has settled on the track, but the repercussions of this unfortunate wreck continue to resonate in Deegan's racing career. As the crowd holds its breath, only time will reveal whether Deegan can shake off this setback and rise like a phoenix from the ashes in the forthcoming races. The question looming in the air is, should Nick Sanchez face disciplinary consequences for his actions on the track? 
The superstar racing experience spearheaded by Tony Stewart, Ray Evernham, Sandy Montag, and George Pine is revving up for its third thrilling season. The nail-biting series set to premiere on ESPN on July 13th is sure to enthrall racing enthusiasts around the globe. The roll call of drivers for this year's series has been released, and amidst the roster of celebrated racers, one name shines brightly, Haley Deegan, the gifted Craftsman's Truck Series driver, making her debut as a full-time driver. As a fresh-laced 21-year-old, Deegan has already been a part of the SRX for two seasons, albeit as a part-timer, dazzling fans with her selected performances. This year, she takes a full plunge into the high-octane series, racing shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with accomplished veterans like Brad Kozlowski, Bobby Galbanti, and Ryan Newman. Deegan is ecstatic about being the only female driver in the series and cannot wait to prove her mettle on the circuit. During an interaction with the SRX, the Thor Sport driver couldn't contain her excitement about transitioning to a full-time role in the series. When asked about her decision to go full-time, she noted how the altered TV schedule and alignment with her truck racing dates made the decision seamless. She's looking forward to racing in the SRX series and then heading over to compete in the truck races on Fridays, making for an exciting and packed schedule. Deegan expressed her eagerness to perform at Eldora when prodded about any particular race she's eyeing to conquer. Having never raced there, she sees it as a milestone opportunity and a potential victory would indeed be a splendid feather in her racing cap. Deegan's sheer thrill about racing full-time in the SRX series is contagious, and she's chomping at the bit to tackle the season head-on, keeping her scheduling conflicts aside. The news of Deegan's full-time stint in the SRX series sent ripples of excitement among her fans. Social media has been abuzz with supportive messages cheering her on, with comments ranging from Go Haley to Drive Them Crazy, Deegan. Fans are eagerly awaiting her performances, hoping to see her snatch victory from seasoned racers. While Deegan has graduated to full-time status, some newcomers are joining the series as part-timers, including Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, and Kyle Busch. With such a mix of seasoned drivers and hungry newcomers, the series promises to be a captivating spectacle. All eyes are now on Haley Deegan, as she gears up to face her most significant challenge yet. Will she manage to stand her ground amidst the Titan veterans, or will the grueling pressure of the heavyweights take its toll? Either way, it's safe to say that Deegan's journey in the upcoming SRX series is sure to keep viewers on the edge of their seats, eagerly anticipating the unfolding drama on the racetracks. And so we turn the microphone to you. What are your thoughts on this recent upheaval in the NASCAR world? Do you believe Haley Deegan can make a triumphant return in the next race? And should sanctions be imposed on Nick Sanchez? Let your thoughts flow in the comments section below. If you found this race report intriguing, do us a favor and hit the like button and share it with your friends. And subscribe to NASCAR Nexus. Stay tuned for more exhilarating updates and exclusive sneak peeks into the fast-paced world of NASCAR.